birth of a legacy, David Haller's early life. From the very beginning, David's life was destined to be extraordinary. David Haller was born a mutant. His powers manifested early, even before he could fully understand them. He is the son of Charles Xavier, a powerful telepath and founder of the X-Men, a group dedicated to protecting both mutants and humans. His mother is Gabrielle Haller, a Holocaust survivor who endured unimaginable hardships, shaping her into a resilient woman. David's early life was marked by tragedy and loss, casting a shadow over his childhood. He experienced a traumatic event as a child, an incident that would forever change the course of his life. This trauma triggered his mutant abilities, causing them to surface in unpredictable ways. It also fractured his mind, leading to a complex and fragmented psyche. David's powers manifested as telepathy, allowing him to read and influence minds. He could also manipulate reality itself, bending it to his will, though often without control. These abilities were unstable and dangerous, posing a threat to those around him. He unintentionally hurt people, including himself, causing deep emotional scars. Charles Xavier recognized his son's potential and the immense power he held. He also saw the danger that came with such power, understanding the need for guidance. Xavier tried to help David control his powers, offering support and training. He used his own telepathic abilities to reach out to David, hoping to bring stability to his mind. But David's mind was too fragmented, with multiple personalities emerging, each with its own set of powers and challenges. Shattered mind trauma and the onset of dissociation. Trauma can have profound effects on the human psyche, often leading to complex mental health conditions. David's mind fractured into multiple personalities, each representing a different aspect of his psyche. Each personality had its own unique powers, reflecting the diverse facets of his identity and abilities. This was a result of his trauma and his mutant abilities, which intertwined to create a complex and often dangerous situation. He developed dissociative identity disorder, or DID, a condition where multiple distinct identities coexist within a single individual. One personality was powerful and destructive, embodying the rage and pain David felt. Another was gentle and childlike, representing the innocence and vulnerability he had lost. Some personalities were aware of each other, interacting in a complex internal world. Others remained hidden, lurking in the shadows of his mind. David's did made it difficult to control his powers, as the constant internal conflict created chaos. Each personality had its own agenda, often conflicting with one another, leading to further turmoil. They fought for control of David's body, each trying to assert dominance over the others. This internal struggle manifested as external chaos, affecting not only David, but those around him. Xavier and other allies tried to help, offering support and guidance in an attempt to bring stability to his fractured mind. They wanted to heal David's mind, hoping to integrate his personalities and bring peace to his troubled soul. But his powers were too strong, often overwhelming those who tried to assist him. David became a danger to himself and others, his uncontrolled abilities posing a significant threat. Legion of personalities, a myriad of powers awakened. David's powers were vast. He could control minds, he could warp reality. Each personality had its own unique abilities. One persona, Jack Wayne, was a swaggering adventurer. He could manipulate time. Another, Cindy, was a pyrokinetic with a childlike demeanor. The Legion personality was the most powerful and dangerous. It absorbed other personalities. It sought to remake the world in its image. As Legion's powers grew, so did the threat. He became a target for other mutants. Some wanted to control him, others wanted to eliminate him. Internal strife, battling for control of the mind. David's internal struggle intensified. His personalities battled for dominance. He desperately wanted control. Professor X tried to guide him. He offered compassion and understanding, but David's fractured mind rejected help. Each personality had its own goals. Some were benevolent, others were malicious. David became a pawn in his own mind. His powers raged out of control. He warped reality, altering time and space. The lines between his personalities blurred. Section five, the Shadow King's grip, a father and son divided. The Shadow King, a powerful psychic entity, saw an opportunity. He preyed on David's fractured mind. The Shadow King manipulated David's personalities. He exacerbated David's internal conflict. The Shadow King turned David against his father. Professor X became an enemy in David's eyes. 
David, under the Shadow King's influence, attacked the X-Men. He became a weapon against the very people who wanted to help him. Professor X was forced to confront his son. The battle was psychic and emotional. It pushed both of them to their limits. Section 6. Age of X. Rewriting reality in the name of hope. In a desperate attempt to find peace and harmony, Legion, the powerful mutant with a fractured mind, rewrote reality itself. He created what came to be known as the Age of X, a world where mutants were not just accepted but revered. In this new reality, mutants were worshipped as heroes and saviors, celebrated by the masses for their extraordinary abilities. But beneath the surface of this seemingly perfect world, there was a dark undercurrent. This utopia was built on a fragile lie. David's fractured mind, burdened by his multiple personalities, couldn't maintain this grand illusion for long. The Age of X began to crumble, the cracks in the facade growing wider and more apparent. Eventually, reality snapped back to its original state, leaving devastation and chaos in its wake. The experience left David more fragmented than ever, his mind shattered by the strain of maintaining the false reality. He retreated further into his own mind, isolating himself from the world around him. His powers, already unpredictable, became even more erratic and dangerous. Despite the chaos, Professor X, his father, continued to reach out to him, hoping to guide him towards healing and stability. He believed that with the right support and understanding, David could find a path to recovery and peace. But the sinister presence of the Shadow King, a malevolent entity, continued to haunt David, making his journey towards healing even more challenging. Section 7. A Glimmer of Control Legion Seeks Redemption After years of struggle, David began to seek control. He realized the harm he had caused. He wanted to atone for his past. He learned to suppress his personalities. David focused on using his powers for good. He aided the X-Men on several missions, but his control was tenuous. The Shadow King still whispered in his mind. David's past threatened to consume him. Despite the challenges, David persevered. He found solace in helping others. He embraced his role as a protector. Section 8, Legacy of Legion, a Mutant's Impact on the World. David Haller's journey is one of tragedy and hope. He is a powerful mutant. He is a symbol of the complexities of mental illness. His legacy is complicated. He has caused great destruction. He has also shown great compassion. David's story is a reminder that even the most fractured mind can find redemption. He is a testament to the power of hope and perseverance. The mutant community continues to grapple with his legacy. He is a cautionary tale and a beacon of possibility. David Haller's journey is far from over.